Dumb Mechanics are back at it again. And a quick update, this is, I guess this will be episode two. And today, the plan is to, uh, we're actually going to go pick up a Suzuki T500. Um, it's actually, it's my grandfather's and I'm planning on restoring it and everything. Yeah, he's the one who purchased it off the showroom floor back in the 70s uh, when he bought it on It's an old two-stroke. So the plan is, I'll, I'll keep updating with the dumb mechanics uh, when I, with the work I do to it and everything, and we'll make episodes out of it. Alongside other random projects we do uh, with any vehicle working. And that's basically what the dumb mechanics is going to be. Just random vehicle based working on stuff, I don't know, things. Uh, and whatever we're doing. One day can be an oil change on this guy's car. Next day it's going to be working on that bike. Next day it could be putting a new starter in this car. You never know. But, like I said, we're heading off to my grandfather's place. We're going to pick the, grab the truck, see if we can get the bike out of the shed, uh, get the bike loaded up, and then take it back and just kind of look it over, maybe give you a walk around of it. Um, also, an update to the last episode with the engine. So that engine was originally, uh, we, we got it off, we actually did get it off with the engine hoist. Uh, we put better bolts in it and it worked. The bolts that it came with just like snapped. And... Did you say like, it kind of bent? Oh, yeah, the just... bottom, the, the bottom rail did bend. So we put bigger, so we put the bolt, I don't know, it just worked this time. And then the back rails fit a lot better, remember? I don't know if you, in the first episode we didn't put the, the two support rails in because they didn't fit. Well, now they did. It, so now it did fit. Yeah, it bent a little bit, so now they fit. So it worked perfect after that. So we got it inside the... Storage unit. Yeah, inside the storage unit. And then about a week later, uh, our buddy that owned the engine and everything sold it. Uh, to somebody in Florida, I think last week or so. And we were going to originally give you a walk around of the engine and just do episodes of us working on the engine. We were going to actually build it for that truck he had because he was actually building his truck to be a pool truck. But he's actually sold that truck and got a new truck. Say truck one more time. Truck. <laughs> Shut up. No. <laughs> but, yeah. So now he has one, and he's going to be doing stuff with it. We may, we're going to do some episodes with him customizing it, but it's going to be a little bit until we, until he builds it into something. Uh, I don't know if he's going to make this new truck into a pool style, or if he's going to make it like a drag, a drag truck. But we'll see, and we'll see when we get there to get the bike. So we made it, and. The bike resides in this shed. And we got one of the dumb mechanics in here pulling some of the stuff off it. Excuse me. There she is. A little dusty, but we'll get her out. So I'm going to put this bad boy down and we'll get started. Okay, so we got the bike out as you can see. Front tires flat, back tires just about. I was painting in the butt, but let's give you a little better look at it while it's in the sunlight. She's a little dusty. We're sitting around for a few years. Give it a walk around. Oh, 
All right. There you go. So, that's the bike for you. So we're gonna look for an air pump. Try and pump these tires up a little bit, try and help us get it onto that truck there. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> 